All right, let's get straight to it. It's been going around. Kiki Palmer and Usher. There goes my baby. Ooh, girl, look at you. You don't know how good it feels to call you my girl. Kiki, come on, Kiki. And I'm going to give you all a few perspectives. And I'm going to start off by saying, you can be right, you can be wrong, both things can be true. Her boyfriend thought process is not wrong. Now, I'm not the internet guy. I don't take my relationship to the internet. I don't really take my problems to the internet. People really don't give a fuck. So I want to start off by saying, yes, he should not have went to social media with that. But I kind of think y'all blew it up. Uh, he was kind of just expression. And at the end of the day, the Internet is for people to express themselves. Twitter, that's what it's for. Now, granted, I'm not going to verbally check my girl on Twitter. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. That's not me. But. What he was saying was right, because first of all, at first, when I looked at the video, I wasn't really too concerned with her interaction with Usher. I was more concerned with the sheer dress and her ass out. And she made sure she did that turn to show Usher her ass. Don't get me wrong. Usher going to do that to a lot of women. He going to make a lot of women frisky. It's Usher. Let's be clear. It's Usher. But I went back and looked at the video a couple times. I think initially her boyfriend got salty because of the interaction. And I'm just being totally honest. I'm not calling that man insecure or nothing because nobody wants to see their girlfriend. Or Listen, she had the two arms wrapped around him, was up on him. Nobody want to... Go on the internet and see their girlfriend doing that. I don't care if it's Usher, Idris Elba, uh, Michael B. Jordan, or a random nigga. Nobody wants to go to the internet and see their girl, their baby mama, interacting with another man like that. I don't care if it's a show or not. That's one. Two. No, I don't agree with it. Now, granted, a bunch of women, oh, that wasn't that bad. I don't think no woman should be out with their ass out. All right, no, let me rewind it. No female with a boyfriend or kids on the internet with their ass out. That's just me. I came up a little different. My mom raised my sister a little different. My standards for my females are a little different. Clearly, that's the new thing, the sheer dresses. And I talked about it before. The sheer dresses with they ass out. Nope. My thing, females. Kiki Palmer is this big celebrity. So pretty much if she's out, there's going to be cameras around. If she's out with a sheer dress on with her whole ass out showing the world, then what's for her man? Women got to start answering that. If you're going to give the internet everything, your ass out, your titties out, whatever you're doing, then what's exclusive to your man? What's exclusive to your husband? What's just for him? I don't want to hear that. She going home to him. The pussy just for him. No, I don't want to hear that. If you showing the world your ass, what part of your body is for him? Women don't want to talk about that. I was raised Muslim. 
So y'all know how Muslim culture do, how some of the women come out in public. I'm not saying you got to dress like that. You got to be covered from head to the toe. But the basic standard of that is your body is for your husband or your man. You know, uh, he talking all these morals and this, that, and the third. He ain't even married her. Well, in 2023, I mean, I don't know who's just getting married off just meeting somebody, love at first sight, or arranged marriage. That shit don't happen no more. So people do date before marriage. But I think dating is a big prerequisite to the marriage. Marriage don't make things better. Let's be clear. Getting married to somebody ain't going to stop somebody from doing wild shit. You got to set yourself in a, a routine, a habit, a precedence of changing your life before the marriage. So all I'm saying, if she showed the world her ass, was for her man. Now, granted, sometimes you can't blame women. This is a thing. A lot of women aren't taught how to carry their self. When they have a man, let's be clear. Some of y'all mamas have not raised y'all to how to carry it when you have a man. So I'm giving her a little leeway. She may not know. that some things is just come on. No man want to see that. And a nigga's not insecure if he y'all kill me with that. Every nigga's not insecure because he want a standard for his girlfriend. He wants some lady like he wants some coof for his girlfriend. Niggas are not insecure. And some of y'all mamas didn't teach y'all. Hey, when your brother and his friends around, get your ass in the room. Why you out here? Tell you right now, my mom, get on my sisters. My friends around, my sisters in a room. They don't need to come out for shit trying to be seen. Hey, hey, what's up? Nah, get your... My mom used to tell my sisters, get your ass in the room. Eman friends around or if I read friends around, get your ass in the room. That's real, though. Some of y'all mamas ain't teach y'all... How? When you have a man. I'm not saying you can't be friendly person. But you don't need to be friendly to every nigga when you're around your nigga. Women, I'm just trying to give y'all a game. Niggas don't like no friendly bitch. To be honest. Nigga don't like his girl all up in niggas' faces. All smiling, ha ha, he ha, with niggas when he around. Most niggas won't say it because they scared their girl going to say, oh, this nigga insecure. Oh, he don't want me to be myself. No, that's not it. Most men are going to feel some type of way with their female interacting with another man. In a manner where it looks too friendly. It looks like, yo, he she getting at him or he getting at her. And I tell women all the time, some niggas don't know boundaries. Some niggas think because you friendly, you like them. I'm giving y'all a game now. Being nice and being friendly to niggas that you don't like sometimes give niggas mixed messages. Niggas think you fuck with them, think you like them, think you want to get with them. Some niggas just weird like that. I don't think that way. Because I don't think every bitch want to be with me. <laughs> and I don't think because she being nice to me. She, but some niggas may get mixed messages and take that shit a little further than what it's supposed to get. And then you got issues. So I feel like men, but now one thing I say about her man, 
You should have set them standards from day one, my guy. <coughs> and you know, people say, oh, Kiki got all the money and all. Who gives a fuck? A man need to be a man. Always. He need to lead. And if a man don't want his girl wearing that shit, a girl should respect him and trust him and say, all right, that's what's up. She got a baby by him, so he got to be some... Well, I don't want to say that because some girls have babies by some fucking suckers. So a man that deserves that type of leeway, and it goes both ways. I ain't just saying women. Niggas is the same way. My girlfriends come around not going to be in the front room laughing, and I'm not doing that shit. And any girl... <laughs> They let they man sit around them and they friends. Something wrong with that nigga anyway. Because most girls get around, they start gossiping, talking about girl shit. So no nigga should be around that shit anyway. Trust me, I'm not just being man. I'm saying even in relationships, but my mama taught me that. When my sister's friends was around, we was in the room playing a game. My sisters ain't really high friends, but if they had people around, we won't interacting with them. So I just think people need to set boundaries, set standards, and men are not insecure because they want that for their women. So Kiki, I just feel like you owed your husband or your boyfriend an apology. And what's done is done. You can't take that back. But you definitely owed him an apology for that. And like I said, I don't think the dress was the worst thing. I look, I went back and looked at the video. You was a little too friendly with Usher. I'm just being honest. And uh, <laughs> Listen, listen, video done came out since that shit. Usher been trying to trick a few of them up. Sweetie, she was not going for it. The girl with the uh, vitiligo. She sat in Cool's lap like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you won't fuck my money up with Cool's, uh, I don't know, Cool's, uh, I don't know that nigga last name. He weak as hell anyway. So Usher been trying to set people up. But I've seen girls with boyfriends react different now. <laughs> they ain't going for that shit, Usher. Stop it. It's funny. <laughs> Cause my brother was online talking about some uh, Usher playing the D League. That shit was funny. He said a joke. I, I ain't going further with that allegedly, but uh, my brother was like uh, Usher playing the D League, so it ain't that big of a deal anywhere. Her boyfriend shouldn't have been that mad. That's funny. I just think men need to set boundaries and standards for their females, and they females. And I ain't saying. You're going to be able to live up to all of them. But God damn. Come on, Kiki Palmer. Tighten up. Akila to beat you. So, uh, mama, start teaching your daughters how to care when they got a man. A real man, anyway. What they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. How they should carry themselves, what they should be wearing. And I'm tired of hearing, I'm going to wear what I want to wear. Men, stay away from them type of hoes. Women, stay away from them type of niggas that think they can just do whatever. Girls don't want no nigga going out with gray sweatpants with no drawers on. Especially if he got a big dick or big, big, whatever, paws. Y'all don't want y'all man if y'all diesel walking around with no shirt on all the fucking time. So I think men should be able to have standards too. To listen. And my girl was telling me, I don't even want to wear nothing like that. I know. You can't. <laughs> she say she don't want to wear nothing like that. But if I was okay with her wearing it, she would wear it. I'm not okay with it and the funny thing the dudes that let their girl just parade around with their ass out and shit that shit is weird to me you dudes are like cucks like it's like pimping i be seeing niggas posting pictures of their girl's ass 
and bare ass and shit. That shit is whack and weird. That give me cuck vibes. You niggas would be okay with watching your girl fuck another nigga. Because clearly, you parading your girl around. Showing her ass and taking pictures and doing all that shit. Listen, I ain't with that shit. And I ain't, I don't consider myself old school because I'm, you know, I, I change with the times, but it's just certain things I'm not doing. Thong baby suits, I don't mind it. But if we going on a, a, a trip with me, my niggas, my girl's not wearing a thong baby suit without a fucking uh cover. You're not going to have your ass out around my folk. Just period. You with your girls, y'all on the girl trip, wear your thong baby suit. I don't give a fuck. But if it's like a family trip or we going to Ocean Breeze, y'all women be having y'all ass out at Ocean Breeze. Like what? Yeah, come on, get some coof. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Jonah Hill and, and speaking of standards it's weird because even in the white culture Jonah Hill let his girlfriend know what he wanted he told her like look I ain't with you with these surfer niggas this that and the third she went for it and was okay with it now she mad because she's still doing all that bullshit and he got an issue with it and now she trying to say he's verbally abusive. Y'all got to go look at the text messages. Jo- just type Jonah Hill and his girl. You going to see the text messages. Jonah Hill let her know like, look, if this is what you want to do, you ain't the one for me. If you choose to be with me, this is the standard. These are the boundaries that I have for me and you. And it's okay every now and then color outside the line, but a nigga's not going to have an habitual out, outside the line colorer. Just period. That's just period. So, And like I said, it go both ways. It's the same thing with women. Which y'all want set the standard from day one. I'm wild, though. And this is a past relationship. And I... You know, I, I been a wild out nigga. I did some, some social media shit that, you know, was unfair. Like, and, and, and the truth is, you know, I try to be like, I ain't doing it for attention, but in my head, I am doing it for attention. I'm posting pictures, trying to get a reaction from other bitches. Not recently. I'm just saying when I was younger in relationships. I was playing the social media game, trying to get attention and doing some wild shit, posting crazy ass pictures, saying crazy ass shit. And I tried to hide, oh, it's just social media. It ain't that big of a deal. Knowing goddamn well I was doing some weird shit. And my girl should have left me then. Not the current one, but the, the ex. But she didn't. So it really just fed the monster and I started doing even wilder shit. But then I grew up and understood that shit's not right, bro. So I'm I'm just telling you, Kiki, I've been there. I've been there. I ain't saying I'm perfect. I've been on the other side of that doing some social media shit or doing some out-of-pocket shit and it was wrong. It was a disrespect to my relationship, disrespect to who I am and what I was doing. So I ain't just speaking men with women, with women, women with men too. All right. So yeah.